Am I the asshole for not changing my cat's name for my sister's baby? I swear I am going crazy with this. I have two cats, Tonks and Dio. Tonks named after the HP character and Dio's name is a little funny, named after DiGiorno Pizza. Just liked Dio and my mom and I thought it was funny. So now my sister has been saying she's gonna start trying for a baby. I am like cool okay congrats, not a big fan of kids myself but good luck to her. Fast forward three months and she's pregnant and starts talking baby names and shit and nice have fun. Well her boyfriend's friend texts me yesterday saying her BF's family has a Tito Dio and would appreciate if I rename or and I cannot believe this rehome my cat. Friend said he could take him. Like what the fuck? No you're not taking my cat and no I am not renaming him so that's what I tell the friend. And like two hours later my sister calls me and just says something like she can't ever be over at our mine and mom's house with a cat named after her son. It's disrespectful. Like I cannot understand how she's functioning rn mentally this is so stupid. My mom said something like, well we can call him Dee Dee or Dee he's already 11, that's even more reason for me to not change his name he's fucking 11. He's had this name for a decade. I know I should care more about a nephew than a cat but this is like my kid. I don't want him to be confused and scared for the last half of his life. And I know my sister. Shed bring her son over and let him fuck with the cats and call it cute and take pictures even if I tell her to stop. IDK it's so stupid. I didn't even change the cat's names because I already told my sister mostly all of this it's just she and my mom are really putting pressure on me to just chill. Am I the asshole for not renaming, rehoming my cat because my sister likes his name? Not the asshole. Ask your sister why she's trying to name her baby after your 11-year-old cat whenever she brings it up. How is the cat named after her son when the cat's literally been in existence for 11 years before her son was ever created? Word of advice. Get your cat microchipped and take plenty of pictures ASAP. If your sister's boyfriend has already found a new home for your cat without discussing it with you first, he might just take the next step and disappear, Dio entirely. Not the asshole. I would actually suggest changing his name to Dio, the first of his name, though. Just to be clear to anyone who may ask in the future about the order of priority. Not the asshole the cat was called Dio for 11 years. Your sister can take a chill pill and so can the rest of the family and friends. You were expecting delivery, but it was me Dio. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Cat had the name first. End of story. I had a dog named Jack. When he was 10, my cousin had a son and named him Jack. We never had any issues. We also have an uncle Jack. Not the asshole. Not the asshole it's the other way around. She's naming her kid after your cat, as her baby, who might even be a girl, is born so many years later than your cat. This is ridiculous. Stand your ground, up. Not the asshole. If someone casually told me to give them my cat because they didn't approve of its name I think I would absolutely lose it. Your sister and her boyfriend are out of their damn minds and in response to this behavior I would extend my cat's name to match their baby's middle and last name also. Not the asshole. Your sister is naming her child after your cat, not the other way around. Not the asshole what the fuck is wrong with these people? They've lost their damn minds. Tell them they don't have your permission to name their kid after your cat. Not the asshole and it is completely ridiculous that a friend of her boyfriend would have the cheek to text you to suggest something like this. It wasn't even your sister or her boyfriend that started the convo, which makes it even weaker of an argument from their side. I'll never understand people who legitimately think they own a name once they've chosen it for their baby. It's as if that decision automatically translates to a patent in their mind. The petty side of me wants to suggest you start referring to the unborn nephew as Dio's namesake, but that would cause more drama than it's worth for you. Keep the name, keep the cat, and hope that eventually your sister and the rest of them get past their nonsense. Oh God, not the asshole. You would also not be the asshole if you created some personalized items for the cat. I'm envisioning a cat bed in the corner with a calligraphy wall decal spanning both of the adjoining walls, Dio's domicile, throw pillows with his picture printed on them, embroidered with Dio's digs, personalized food and water bowls labeled Dio's dishes, litter box labeled 
Dio's droppings. A cat door labeled, Dio's door. I mean, this cat obviously needs his own wall placard with his name and paw print, a personalized collar, personalized cat carrier, and anything else you can possibly think of with his name on it. Just tell them you've changed your cat's name to Tio. Then continue calling the cat Dio. They sound exactly the same, so nobody can tell the difference. Oh, and not the asshole. Duh. Start raging because she's stealing your cat's name. Tell her she's going to need to rehome her kid because you can't handle watching them call their kid that in front of your kitty. Not the asshole. Not the asshole? They want you to rename your cat because it shares its name with a family members? The entitlement. SMH. Not the asshole 100%. Fuck that. Tell them you rename the cat. Dio, but the H is silent. Your sister finds out only three months into her pregnancy that her boyfriend has an uncle named Dio and she's decided she liked it so much she's gonna name her baby after it? Even though she already knew a cat who has been named Dio for the past 11 years? Like why is it so meaningful that she's so insistent? A cat named after her son. A cat. Named after her son? It's not named after her son if the cat had the name before her son. Her request is BS. Not the asshole. Not the asshole don't name your fucking kid after the cat then. Not the asshole. Dio's name is a little funny. If I didn't read any further, I'd have assumed you named Dio after the Jojo character. Still a lovely name regardless. Question. Why would she think you'd be fine with rehoming your cat simply because he shares the same name as your nephew? Not the asshole my neighbors I was really good friends and shared a driveway with adopted an old dog with my same name. It was very confusing at times. I'd ignore people thinking they were talking about or to the dog, or I'd go to someone saying my name only to realize they were talking about or to the dog. The dog would also come when people were saying my name. It was confusing. But the dog was old and had her name, and I'm a person and had mine. Yeah it was confusing but oh well. It'll be confusing for hopefully years to come. It'll be a joke and an endearing memory. Everyone needs to chill TF out. Not the asshole. They are seriously jealous of a cat. Like how entitled can you be? You had your name first. If she doesn't like it she can pick another name. Besides, there really shouldn't be an issue here. Your sister is completely out of line. Plus personally I don't think Dio is a good name for a child. Nickname maybe but it's not like your cat's going to get confused when their name is called. They aren't even the same species. Leave your cat's name how it is. Cats are family too. Ask her if she would ask you to change your child's name because she wants the name. By the way I love the name Tonks. Hufflepuffs for life. Not the asshole WTF. Rehome the sister. WTF I swear. Not the asshole. I'm trying to somehow fit a Jojo reference into this. Not the asshole. By the way Dio means God in Italian. Not the asshole. There are hundreds of thousands of names to choose from. If they don't like this one because your cat has the same one, then they shouldn't choose this one. NTA at all. These people need to relax. It's just a name that the cat had first. With a cat named after her son. She's got that backwards. The cat was named first, she's naming her son after a cat. It's a shame it's too late to get all excited and thank her for honoring your meowster in such a way. You could always rename your cat though. To Dio, future nephew's last name, and then start showing her matching cat human outfits. It's a good thing I'm an only child. Not the asshole for not changing the name. Under no circumstance would that make sense lol. If nephew had been around when you named Gio, his name wouldn't be Gio. What do you mean they think you should chill? My sister is pregnant with her second child. Don't get me wrong, I love my nephew. But I could 100% see her doing this to me. I have a cat named Emma and if she chooses that name for her kid I know she'd ask me to change it. And I sure as hell wouldn't. Emma has been around since before her first kid LMAO. Not the asshole what's wrong with people. Not the asshole for many reasons, but, you are going to torpedo your own pov if you try to make a dumb argument that he's going to be, confused and scared for the last half of his life, if you don't call him by his regular name. I mean, really, do you honestly know anyone who doesn't have like five different pet names for their animal? 
And cats don't even give as fuck like dogs do about their names anyway. Not the asshole. But also, what the fuck LMAO. Anywho I would totally call the baby Dio the second. Or D2. Or, human Dio, while calling the cat just, Dio. But I'm petty so. Cold sweat smile. Not the asshole. So what if your cat and her baby have the same name? It's really not that big a deal. My grandma's dog and I used to share a name and it was like, haha that's funny, if we both came when the name was called but it was literally never an issue. Also, it's just plain entitled of her to expect you to change your cat's name or even give it away as if it weren't family just because she likes a name. Every day, I move a little closer to believing that potential parents should undergo psychological and IQ testing before having children. Not the asshole. Also, you might want to baby-proof your sister's house. Not to protect her baby, but for her and her husband. They might start licking the outlets. Not the asshole. And your family is nuts. You have two options and neither are exclusive. One. Point out that, Indiana, Jones got the nickname from his dog. Also in real life John Wayne got the nickname, The Duke, from his dog as well. And two, spam her with every Jojo meme you can find. Also be careful, if they are crazy enough to say to rehome your cat, they could steal and dump it somewhere. Especially with your mom involved. Also be wary of poison. She's 11 and a sudden death is just old age and not the Tylenol that was crushed and hidden in the tuna. You cat is in real serious danger. Not the asshole and OMG they got the BFS friend to text you about this? Not sure they should be procreating if they can't even have a direct conversation with a family member. Not the asshole just call your nephew, human Dio, then there is no confusion. Easy. Not the asshole. Names are names and in 10 years nobody's going to care that there was once a cat with the same name. I literally heard a woman yesterday picking up a prescription for her dog that has the same name as my daughter, and I didn't lose my shit on this woman. Not the asshole that's absurd. Not the asshole. Tell her it was the cat's name first so she shouldn't name her child after your cat. You should also tell her that she can't call her son Fuzzy Butt as that is also your cat's name. Funny story. When I was pregnant I wanted to name my child George. My brother had a cat named George. My husband said we cannot name our child the same name as the cat. So we didn't. Easy. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your cat isn't named after her son. Your sister should get more creative with names instead of stealing others' names. NTA. Tell your sister you are extremely moved by her decision of naming her kid after your cat. The cat was first, not vice versa. And that you can meet as family and get a Dio pizza to celebrate. Even invite the friend over to thank him for allowing himself to be play as a puppet by your coward Bill. Or you can compromise and call her kid Didi, or pizza. Get a photo of your cat framed with his name in glitter, Dio Sr., for next time your sister visits. Is your sister even sure she's having a boy? And why would they be using the whole name instead of that nickname and using another nickname? Not the asshole. After reading your cat's name I was hoping your sister was wanting to name her kid Tonks. You should suggest it as a name of they have a second. I'll take the cat. No, no, for his own sake. I think you should take the kid away from those loonies instead. My aunt, who we'll call Kelly. Married a man whose mother already had a dog named Kelly. My aunt's new mother-in-law started calling her dog, Kelly Wolf, when she needed to differentiate between the dog and her new daughter-in-law, but nobody insisted that she rehome her dog, or rename it, because that's fucking ridiculous. My uncle didn't refuse to visit his mother because she was being disrespectful. And both Kellys were already called that. Wholehearted not the asshole. Your family is being insane. This is such a non-issue. If your sister wants to give her child a family name, that's lovely. What a sweet coincidence that you also had a beloved pet with the same name. Stand your ground. Keep your boundaries. Your sister is stupid. Regardless of what she says or does it is a cat. The cat will not obey and just answer to his own name. You cannot actually tell a cat that you are changing their name because they will not allow it to happen. Not the asshole tell her to name the kid Brando instead. This reminds me, before I had children, in my mid-teens, our family was talking baby names. 
I always loved the name Stephanie and said as much. Years later my cousin was born and my auntie named her Stephanie. I was so angry I never spoke to my auntie or my cousin again. Just kidding. I honestly didn't even flinch. Anyway not the asshole. 